Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa and welcome to Vanessa's Vanity. Today I'm going to be creating for you guys this beautiful New Year's Eve makeup look. And along with that I'm going to be introducing to you guys a new skincare, cosmetic, and lash company that I recently came across. So if you guys want to know how I created this look and what brands those are and also how to receive a discount, continue watching. So I've already moisturized my skin. I'm actually going to go in with this Caviar Eye Gel by the Dermaesthetics Beverly Hills. And then this is what it looks like inside. It's really... Doesn't smell like anything. Hmm. So I'm going to work with what's on this cap and it says it's going to help to protect, brighten, prevent, hydrate, and smooth. It's created exclusively for the softer skin and makeup application. The Caviar Eye Repair is used to flush out unwanted color around the eyes. The Caviar Repair Gel is more than a mere covering but it also is intended to promote skin health. The Caviar Extract is a potent antioxidant is known to eliminate free radicals and repair damaged skin so that's really interesting to know I've already read the directions and it says to use your ring finger oh my god it feels really silky so I'm actually gonna use my other finger as well just gonna work it together and I'm just gonna press Honestly, I never knew how important skincare was before I started working in the cosmetic retail industry. I started to learn more and more about products. I really do believe that it's really important to take care of your skin. Today, I'm just giving you guys a demonstration of how I apply it on. I, I will be doing a follow-up in about two to three weeks. So I'll do a follow-up video, but for now, going forward, I will be putting this eye cream on. So I really want to create a glittery eye and I'm going to go in with this palette which is the 350M with this color right here in this palette. And I'm going to go in with this brush which is the G6 from Glam 22. But this is really going to go in my crease to brighten up and I really love to wear warm tones in my crease. So next I'm going to go in with a transition color for the shade and I'm, I'm actually going to use I'm going to go in with the G4 brush from Glam 22 and I'm just going to grab that on there. I'm just going to buff that out. I'm just going to go back with this G6 with the color on it. I'm not going to add any color. I'm just going to use it to buff out the first color. Just so that way it blends really well. A lot of the times when you're doing your eyeshadow, it's the, the technique is always like constantly like going back and forth, back and forth. Times 15 Cool Neutral Palette by MAC. I'm actually going to go in with this color right here. And I'm going to go in with my G12 brush. I'm going to put this all over my eyelid. So next I'm going to go in with this brush by Morph. It's the M507. It's really small, a really small blending brush. And I'm actually going to blend those two colors, the crease color and the color on my eyelid. So that way there's not a harsh line. And they look nice and blended. So next I'm going to go in with the same brush because I want a, something very precise. I'm going to go in with this palette. This is the Burgundy Times 9 and I'm actually going to go in with this Burgundy Deep Color. I just want to add a little bit on my outer corner on each eye. So I'm going to go with this liquid liner. This is the e.l.f. Jet Black and I'm just going to lightly line my eyes. Thank you. 
So the foundation I'm going to be using is this Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And if you guys have not seen my last tutorial, I actually just recently came across this foundation. I'm going to be using the color 322 Warm Honey. So now I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is, again, the Maybelline Medium 25. Just going to go under my eyes. I'm going to go in with this Make Perfecting Sponge just to buff it in. So next I'm going to powder my face and then sit under my eyes. So I'm going to be going in with this NYX Liquid Crystal Eyeliner and this is the color in Crystal Gold. I'm going to put this on my eyelid and then on top after I'm going to go in with this little tube of glitter and I'll put the link below where you guys can find it. Putting the silver glitter on top. So next I'm going to go in with a lip liner night moth inside my waterline on the outside. I don't recommend this for everybody. I really want a unique burgundy outline. So next I'm going to go in with this G31 from Glam 22. And I'm going to go in with this color in the middle of this palette which is the times nine burgundy palette and I'm gonna use a little bit to lightly buff underneath my lash line. And I'm basically gonna buff out the pencil that I just put on. So next I'm going to go in with this color from the 350 palette right here and I'm going to use the G24 brush from Glam 22 and I'm just going to buff that into my brush and I'm going to use this color to buff out the color that I have underneath my eyes. Just very lightly. Just so that way it doesn't run. So I'm going to go in with these lashes. These are from the Witty Collection and these lashes are called Tees. They're so pretty. Ooh, I love them. Let you guys check those out. I'm pretty excited. It says Dare to be Different. This little packaging is so cute. Really cute little container. But I'm going to put these on, which I'm excited about because I love big, bold lashes. Go ahead and check these out. Ooh, these are gorgeous. So excited. I'm going to go in with some tweezers. Pop these babies on. Looks pretty nice. Go in with the first lash. Okay, so I'm going to go in with some mascara on my bottom lashes. So that was the Witty Collection. Okay, so next we're going to go in with these three shades right here. These are from Entitled Beauty. And I'm super excited because two of them are liquid lipsticks and one of them is a gloss. And I'm actually a fan of both. I love to wear liquid lipsticks and, I, and then there's times where I just love to wear gloss or even like mixing them together. So I'm just going to share these colors with you guys so this is reef and I think I'm just gonna go right here and this is 
a liquid lipstick. So I'm just gonna go right here. You guys can see that. So pretty, really plummy. And this is Princess Peach, which is like a peachy nude. I'm just gonna put that below. Kind of share with you guys. I really love these two colors. Entitled Beauty is owned by two CEOs by the name of Johnny and Brandy. I love the colors. I can't wait to try them on right now so you guys can see. And I really love this look so that way I can demonstrate with you guys. If you guys like to wear the bold color, you can still wear this eyeshadow. And if you guys want to go with the nude, you definitely can. And if you want to put gloss on e each of them, you can do that. So I'm going to go in with the Princess Peach and then I'm going to actually pair it with Plum Lip Liner because I feel like the plum is really going to help to neutralize it into my skin tone. It's actually one of my favorite lip liners right here. I like it. Feels really good. Okay, so so far I have on Princess Peach. I am going to go in with Sunset Stone, which is the gloss. Personally, I can say I really like to wear gloss on top of my liquid lipsticks, especially a nude color like this. So I'm going to go in with this color next. And before I do, I'm just going to swatch it on my hand because this is one color you guys have not seen yet. And it's really pretty. It actually has, I'm going to put it right here actually has some soft sparkles inside and the sparkles are a bit iridescent so I'm just gonna put some on my lips now it'll definitely complete the look because I have glittery eyes I'm gonna have some glitter on my lips definitely great for the New Year's so pretty. Oh, it smells good. It smells like it smells like caramel and vanilla together. So that plum liner underneath did really well, especially with this gloss. So nice. And I love the way it smells. I just want to smell it. Mm. Mm. So this is called Sunstone. So that is Princess and Sunstone. It was really hard to take off, so it really does stay. Even though I had the gloss on top, it really did stay really tough to take off. I mean, this is with makeup remover and there's still some on there, so really does stick. <laughs> so next I'm going to go in with this combo, which is the Reef and Night Moth. really pretty I think I'm loving this look more it's definitely more me I would say the first slip is more for me and during the day but this one is definitely more of the glam more of the New Year's look that I would definitely wear okay so I love the way reef looks 
I think it looks gorgeous with the makeup look that I have on. I'm actually going to coat it with a little bit of the gloss, which is the Sun Stone, just so you guys can see. But it does have like a, a slight frost finish to it, which I really like. I'm a big fan of it. So I'm just going to lightly put some gloss, just mostly on the bottom. I'm just going to lightly... Ooh, this looks so pretty together. Ew, it looks more purpley and on the other color it turned more pink. Looks so nice. I'm mad, okay. Johnny and Brandy, I see where you're going. So pretty. Okay, so I'm putting some gloss on top, sorry. I said only on the bottom, but I'm getting carried away. I really like the way the gloss looks. So sparkly, so pretty. Definitely. This is my New Year's Eve makeup look for sure. Maybe I would start off with it matte and then just put a little, tiny bit of gloss just so that way it lasts very long. Okay you guys, so that pretty much concludes my makeup tutorial for this New Year's Eve glam. Again, I used these three lip combos which are the Peach Princess reef and sunstone all from entitled beauty right now if you go to entitledbeauty.com and enter my discount code which is vanessa10 you will receive 10 percent off of these beauties and other products that they have on their website which i'm so excited because i'm such a fan of these colors and you guys these lip combos they wear very well they smell super good i'm a big fan of, of products that smell amazing and um, the colors I feel are perfect for me so I want to thank Johnny which is the CEO of Entitled Beauty for picking these out for me I love them and I hope you try these products out you love them as well I think they're pretty reasonable for their price also but again don't forget you get that discount so take advantage so shout out to Johnny and Brandy thank you guys so much for sending these to me I love them and um, yeah. also we'll be following up with you guys with the caviar eye repair hair gel from Dermasthetics, which I'm super excited about. So far this is my first time using it. It felt really amazing. I can't wait to see the results that it will give with time. The texture felt like silk but in a jelly form. It was it was a very unique texture which I right now with my makeup on I look way more smoother than it usually does. They're usually really really dry. That's really my review you can give from today just how it feels and how my makeup laid on it and I can't wait to see the results within two to three weeks so and last but not least I want to give a shout out to Tress Connoisseurs which is a hair extension company that I recently joined and I'm an ambassador for this is a hair extensions that I have in right now styled and this right here is a natural wondrous wave these are 18 inches and they pretty much hold on to my curl very well. So if you guys want to shop with them and use my discount code Vanessa, you can get 15% off your purchase. So if you go to TrustConnoisseurs.com, you'll be able to shop with them and get that discount. And also, if you do shop, don't forget to get the Glam Anger because you definitely need that to hold your extension. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and comment below if there are any products or tips or maybe you guys want to see a certain video, you're more than welcome to leave that also in the comments. Other than that, I can't wait to see you guys in 2018. Take care and I will see you guys on my next video.